You ready to go next door? <gasps> huh? Yeah, you are. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. What a nice day out today. Okay, running a little late to the office today. I uh, actually have an interview, which I'm pretty excited for, for a new graphic designer. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little bit of insight about Jackson Jovi and starting a new company. Um, one, owning a digital marketing company. I'm very biased about marketing and branding. I know it works, I know it's very effective. However, that being said, if you're thinking about starting a new business, you cannot underestimate the power of in-person connections. Um, you know, us starting this brand, you know, we've done a little bit of marketing online, nothing crazy, just something to kind of put it out there and we've gotten decent results. However, nothing has come close to the, uh, the in-person conversations we've had about the jeans that we're coming out with, uh, the motivational uh, branded clothing we're coming out with, with. You know, those connections have built up more interest in the community than anything we've done on social media or content we've produced. So if you're starting a new brand, you really need to start organically and make those connections with people in person and start small. You know, sell your first shirt or sell your first, you know, toothbrush or whatever that might be and make sure that person loves it. Talk to them, shake their hand, give them a hug, then move to the next person, then move to the next person. Once you've built up this core, then you can start to build the brand out to people who haven't heard of you before because you have the social proof. This is pretty key. How's it going everyone? Hope you're enjoying your day as much as I am. Uh, Good Monster Office just closed down. Everybody headed out for the day. Um, really busy day. Had interviews all day long and client calls all day long for my agency and listen to some good music. Uh, it's 5.30 in the evening and right about now is when I need a boost of energy in order to make it to CrossFit to get in my workout before I head home and start to wind down for the day. Um, that being said, even when I go home, Lindsay and I still work on Jackson Joby, so mentally, I'm really never winding down, but that's okay. Um, the, so, what happened that's exciting today is we, um, we launched the pre-sale for our snapback hats. We have one, two, three, four, five snapback options, various colors with various embroidery. Um, pretty pumped about that. Where I'm actually wearing the demo hat right now. Blank, nothing on it. Um, anyways, back to the snapbacks. Awesome snapbacks. Uh, I'm a huge fan of snapback hats. We do have our dad hats, uh, which I actually work out in. I wear that while I work out. Um, but snapbacks are great. Super, super stylish, uh, long lasting, pretty excellent. And pumped about the colors. So those are going up for pre-sale on our website. They should actually be in stock. Um, today's date is the 17th. They'll be fully in stock definitely by the end of the month. So whenever you're watching this, um, they'll be fully in stock, stock definitely by June 1st. But that's some pretty exciting news is that we're uh, pre-launching, uh, pre-selling, pre-ordering snapbacks as of today. But our shirts and everything else, those are a full go. Um, but we also have some crazy new shirts coming out, so I'm pretty excited. So, gotta get ready for CrossFit. Gotta get some energy. Just got out of CrossFit. Everyone's talking about Murph. So for those of you that don't know what Murph is, Murph is a hero workout in CrossFit. Uh, what that means is they dedicate um, they dedicate the workout to a fallen hero, a fallen military hero. Um, <clears throat> and they usually, what they do is they pick that uh, veteran's favorite workout and they name it after them. And so this workout is named after Michael Murphy, um, who was actually, I believe the movie Lone Survivor wasn't about him, but he was the final one 
uh, before the actual lone survivor. So the, fi the final guy to, to pass um, before played by Mark Wahlberg, the, the actual guy that survived. So anyways, uh, the workout is, it's named Murph and it is one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, meaning body weight squats, uh, followed by a, another one mile run. That whole thing is done with a 20 pound weight vest. Uh, it's pretty rough. It's um, a lot of people are terrified of it. It's a long, grueling workout. I actually like it. I am you know, a sick bastard, I guess. I just like those long, drawn out, grueling ones. I'm actually more scared of the short, uh, <clears throat> you know, rough ones. So, anyways, everyone's talking about Murph. It's in two weeks. Uh, it's actually Jackson Jovi's first event. So we're pretty excited about that. We're gonna have a booth set up there. We're gonna have shirts and hats for sale. We're gonna have a give, some giveaways, um, some cool stuff. So Lindsay and I are really excited about it. I'm actually gonna compete in it also. So um, anyways, everyone at CrossFit's talking about it. It's pretty exciting. Um, can't wait.